Tanqua Artscape 2023. Tina, thank you for your time. Uh, yeah, tell us a little bit who you are, what you are doing when you are not here at the Tanqua. So I, um, I live in Ladysmith in the Plain Karoo. I'm a baker. I had a restaurant in Cape Town for 15 years and then I took a four-year sabbatical. I didn't ever think I'd bake again, but I've just, <laughs> I've just started baking again and it's, I'm loving it. <laughs> mm. But I'm also an artist. Um, I'm still kind of coming to terms with calling myself an artist because I do, I do all sorts of different things. I, I like to call myself a creative person. Um, I run retreats where I do doll work, doll making workshops, elemental dolls, um, which is a very beautiful process. And um, I also paint. I love gardening as well. Um, I've created a beautiful garden at my home and I grow my own vegetables. And um, so there's lots of lots of things that I creative things that I do. Um, but yeah, that's who who I am outside of outside of this space. <laughs> yeah. So what brought you here? So I was on a residency with Lily and Kim at Bodakaya last year, and um, they mentioned the Tankwa, the Tankwa Artscape, and I was lying on the on the deck, imagining what I was going to do for my submission, and then Lily walked out, and said, "Can you come and do the food for us?" And I said, "Yes." <laughs> And um, I was just delighted because I wanted to come back to the Tankwa. I spent quite a lot of time here over the years in a, diff in a very different way. Um, and I've always wanted to come back to this space yeah. because it is so beautiful and vast and magical. Um, and it, oh, I just felt very blessed to have that opportunity to, to come and uh, be creative in this space. Yeah, but you yeah. also do an art piece here. Yes, yeah. I'm creating a labyrinth. Um, the concept of the labyrinth is to walk into the center of your world, tread carefully, and make peace with what you find. I've created one of my home as well, and it's the same. It's the same um, pattern, different a number of circuits. My one at home is eleven circuits. This one I'm doing seven circuits. And it's um, very much connected to this new moon that's happening at the end of this week. And it's also full solar eclipse. We don't see it from South Africa, but we still feel the energy of it, um, which I'm very excited about. I'm excited to be making a, making a labyrinth and connecting it to this aspect of myself because I'm also an astrologer. So um, it, it feels like I'm, I'm, I'm pulling all my threads together. Okay. Um, all my creative threads and I realized this morning when I was packing the stones for the first three circuits that I have 16, 16 points on the on the labyrinth and the last seven full moons had all been at 16 degrees of the sign that they were in so ah. it feels really beautiful to be connecting all these dots and threads and I love patterns and and finding patterns and number patterns as well. Um, so it feels really lovely to be working working in this way and working early in the morning as well with that first light, mm. which is such beautiful, soft, soft light. So what is the connection to the new moon and the labyrinth? For me personally, it's just to be able to walk a labyrinth. Um, I'm also connecting the, so it's, it's got four cardinal, point, four cardinal points. And I work very elementally as well. In all my in all my work that I do, the elements come into it, which is also connected to astrology because we you're working with all the the elements of the signs. And um, what I've done is I've connected up with the the east west to line up with the with the new moon on um, on Thursday. It's not any specific connection. I just I've just connected it. Okay. Because I because I love astrology and because I love walking labyrinths, <laughs> okay. I've just con I've connected yeah. them yeah. together. Yeah, understood. Yeah. Mm. So you were talking that you came earlier to this space here because mm. it's so beautiful, vast, mm. magical. Mm. What does it do to you? 
it's a it's a this this whole journey actually feels like it's a very it's it's the difference between there and I feel like I'm on a precipice in my life that's what it actually feels like and it feels like coming to the Tankwa is an opportunity to cross over that that threshold if you know what I mean yeah it's it's letting go of a lot a lot of stuff that in the past and and moving forward in a way that feels much fuller and whole and connected to myself mm. um, and to everything around me as well. Whereas before I felt quite disconnected from it. So I feel really connected to the land and working and working so close to the earth as well. And you you're working with all these tiny stones and you're actually seeing all the little the little formations on the mm. on the earth and communing with tiny little spiders and and the ants and the tiny little plants that grow in between each little yeah. little rock. Yeah. So you really feel very connected to the earth here as well, which is which is really beautiful for me. Yeah. So what do you expect when you cross this threshold? I don't have any expectations, any expectations of it, but it just um it feels like a life changing experience this. <laughs> That's big. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't have any, any ex expectations of yeah. the outcome of it, but yeah. it does feel like a life-changing experience for me. Yeah. So all the yeah. best for this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you would have to describe the experience so far here with the group, with the team, yes. how would you describe this? What is it for you? Well, I've got a I've got a dual aspect because I'm cooking as well for the right. for the group. So yeah. I love cooking for people, and I love feeding people. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel very connected to the whole group because I've also had people in in helping me in the kitchen each day. So it's been a beautiful opportunity to actually get to know people as well right. in a different way that I probably wouldn't have if if I hadn't been cooking. So I'm 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 very happy to 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 be doing both aspects aspects yeah. of it. Um, and the people are really lovely and I've really made some lovely connections with, with people and, um, um, you know, having astrological conversations and technology conversations and it's, it's, it's like feeding my soul. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and then to go out and work early in the morning and just be still with myself. And <laughs> I've been spontaneously crying as well, <laughs> crying as well. It's just these overwhelms uh, overwhelming emotions that that, mm. that come through and yeah. it's not for anything specific but it's just it's just these feelings that come that move like i'm just letting, allowing everything to move through me yeah and mm. the last thing is mm. if you would have to describe landscape environment here with five words what would these five words be one would definitely be sacred um There's an opening here, um, a heart opening. Um, that three words. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Still and expansive. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Is that it? That's it. Quick sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.